We have new information tonight about a triple stabbing that happened this morning after a party in Rutherford County. Investigators say they've arrested one suspect and have located another. It happened near the Wilson County line on Campbell Road. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb has details. Dwayne Kessler heard what happened off Campbell Road in Rutherford County this morning. I was just nosing around. And had to see it. For himself. I don't know neither one of those trucks. Apparently, he wasn't the only one. You don't ever see any traffic down through here. You don't ever see any traffic down through here. Uh, I don't, but my gosh, it's traffic down through here now. All of them are trying to figure out why a simple party with about four dozen people out here turned violent. You always hear of parties, this and the other going down here, but I've never heard of nothing like, like this. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office says three people were stabbed during a fight around 1 a.m. Two of them are in critical condition. The Sheriff's Office says this man, 32-year-old Jeremy Duke of Reddyville, was one of the people who did it. Corey. Nicholas Turner Sheriff says he saw it. And then Jeremy comes out of nowhere and stabs one of them right in the stomach. And another guy apparently got stabbed right here in the neck and another one across his face. The sheriff's office says that's all true and that they've located a second suspect too with more charges was, coming. You know, there's a lot of blood. It's like, you know, t going down the road and hitting a deer and seeing the blood on the side of the road and on the car. He had a lot of blood. It's all something Dwayne says he could never imagine here. When you hear it at home, uh, when it gets close, that's... You get to thinking about it. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Dwayne says even though he heard about this and now he's seen it, he still doesn't want to believe it. This is something else. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5 HD. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office says it's holding Duke on a $5,000 bond for a charge of aggravated assault. A hearing on his charge is pending in General Sessions Court.